Today is August 29th, 2018. Welcome to First Cup. My name's Jeremy, and this is my first cup of coffee. Now, unless you are brand new to this episode, you're going to notice I'm in a car. And I'm driving. I've not done this before. So a couple differences about today's episode versus every other one. I'm not recording this on my phone, which means it's not live. I'm recording this from my GoPro on a dash mount because I am on my way to New Brunswick, Canada. And I'll talk to you more about that in a minute. But the other thing, full disclosure, that was my second sip of coffee. Why? Because I didn't want to have my first sip of coffee be way too hot and burn myself on camera. I thought that might be a little ridiculous. I think I can go faster here. There we go. So, the best thing I could think of to do to make sure the episode got out today was to record on the GoPro. And I'll upload it when I get to the hotel room later on. So that's where we're at. I got some McDonald's coffee. It's a big one. I'm not going to get a second cup. I put my butter in it, which I don't normally do on my first cup of coffee. But it's also, what time is it now? Nine o'clock. I waited until nine o'clock to have coffee, in part so I could talk to you guys. Also in part because I just woke up an hour ago. <laughs> um, stayed with a friend school friend. We went out last night. I mean, it wasn't crazy. We just went out to dinner, had a couple drinks, and went back and watched some silly things on YouTube and crashed. Slept on the couch. And it was very, very warm. There aren't screens on a lot of his windows because he's renovating this house. And it's a beautiful house inside. Absolutely beautiful. He's got a great vision for it. It's going to be awesome when it's done. But it was close to 90 degrees in New England yesterday. And it kind of baked all day. And there wasn't a lot of opportunity for opening up the, the windows and cooling it down. And I slept on the couch. And he, he gave me this really thin sheet. You know, if I wanted to cover up with something. Obviously, I didn't need to cover up. Normally I need something to cover up with, but what I did with that, I folded it up like six times and put it under me to soak up the sweat. Because uh, I didn't want to get his couch on gross. Uh. So I'm currently in Maine. I'm on Interstate 95, I-95. I am just passing the Sabatis Lisbon exit. If you're a fan of the show, a lot of the people that I've talked to are from Maine. Because New England, even though it's different states, culturally it's really similar and, and you know, you're not that far away from any other state at any given time. And a lot of the connections that I've made came from the old days, or at least are rooted in the old days of when I used to compete around New England. I got on at the Auburn exit, and I can think of a few people who, growing up, would have used that exit. Yeah. Maine's funny for me, because I, I, in a sense, I feel like I belong here because I grew up here. But at the same time, it's changed so much that Vermont really does feel like home now. And don't get me wrong, I've considered moving back to Maine. I've got a lot of friends here bigger population. There's the ocean. There's mountains. Far more lakes. One of the things I really dislike about Vermont, and it's a pretty short list, but there are enough lakes, which means if you want to buy a camp, you know, a small house on a lake, a seasonal home, it's really expensive. In Maine, if you're willing to drive far enough, pretty much anybody can afford it. So 
got to watch my time. Because I'm somehow limited to 10 minutes because of this GoPro. I don't know why. All right, that's five minutes or so. Um, so here's the thing I wanted to chat about real quick. I'm going to St. John's, New Brunswick. I'll be there for a couple nights just to hang out, just to see what's going on there. I've never been there. And while I'm there, I'll go to a CrossFit gym. I'm going to drop in. It's the term in CrossFit lingo that we use, and I'm going to visit. And I've often talked about the similarities between CrossFit and martial arts and the culture and everything. But you know one place that the culture is, is completely opposite? It's the attitude that we have with people coming to visit. I feel confident messaging any CrossFit gym on the planet and saying, hey, I'm going to be in the area, can I stop by? You know, and obviously there's some logistical questions. Uh, you know, is your schedule normal this week? Do you, what, what is your fee for coming by? Is there anything I have to know? You know, and it's just good etiquette to do that. But to be perfectly honest, if I stumbled on a CrossFit gym that I didn't know was there and I ended up with, you know, an hour free, I would have no problem walking in and being like, hey, can, can I get a workout? And of the probably dozen plus gyms I've visited, I, I would be surprised if anybody would say no. Now, when it comes to martial arts, that is not the case. We do not have a culture in martial arts where you visit a new town and you message somebody and say, hey, can I swing by and take class? Now, understandably, there is some, there's some good reason for that. One of the major reasons, of course, is that you may not do the same martial arts that they do. So we may be, we may be looking at a different fundamental uh, approach to training, to the techniques. But I've been to gyms where people have dropped by, martial arts schools. And it doesn't matter how friendly they are. It doesn't matter if they're doing very similar things. There's this air of apprehension when people come in. We still have such a strong skepticism in martial arts of what everyone else does that we can't get there. Now, I'll be honest. Which would I rather go to? If I'm visiting Canada, uh, hello, I have a martial arts business. It makes more sense for me to reach out to people and build relationships for when we start selling into Canada. But I don't do that. Because the person might say, somebody at a school might say yes. But would they mean it? Would they think I was going to try and test them? So many unknowns. And that's not what I want for a vacation. Looks like I got 90 seconds or so, maybe maybe just shy of two minutes. So let me let me tie this back in. Whether it's CrossFit or martial arts or life in general, we build a legacy. People start to look at you and what you do as somewhat fixed. It is cliche to say people don't change. Because most people don't change. Most people are fairly consistent with how they approach life, their values, their priorities. But there's no reason you can't be aware of that. There's no reason you can't change it, first off. And secondly, be willing to admit that how you look at life, how you treat others, and all of that creates a legacy that other people will judge you by. The older you get, the more entrenched it is, and the harder it is to get people to see you differently. This is why some people move, because they need to start over, and the people where they're at refuse to see the growth and progress that they've had in their lives. So there's 10 minutes. I will probably do this from the hotel room tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe it'll be live. Hope so. All right, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Maybe, maybe you enjoyed this new.
formatted road noise. I don't know. <laughs> if not, tough. Alright. I'm gonna finish my coffee and finish my drive. I've only got four hours left. See you tomorrow. Peace.